two, one, go! Wee! Nice. Looks like both runners are very close uh, when it comes to any kind of uh, stream delay or Discord delay or anything like that. But we have Rupert83 versus JT Not, and they both actually just grab mushrooms at the exact same time. And they're gonna be going through 1 1 right now. For anyone new watching for the first time, we gather up points throughout this entire tournament. Player with the most points wins. You get more points if you win in time, but you did not win the race. I mean, you won the race in time, of course, in terms of speedrunning. Uh, but we're looking for players with the most points. And JT Knot is going to be the first person to take the speed lead here on Rupert. Now the points we're looking for directly in World 1 is doing a frame perfect jump in the Hammer Brother. Um, so what that is is whenever you start the Hammer Brother, the game will actually allow you to get a jump before you touch the ground. And that's what you're looking for. And they want to get through the entire World 1 airship while ducking. And that will be worth two points. Big point games. Both runners are going to want to watch out for the orb. Let's see. Does either runner miss it? No runner misses that shortcut. That is a nice, nice little shortcut there. Uh, had you missed that leap, you'd have to stomp on the dry bones, run back and forth, get that P-speed back. And that is not what somebody wants to do. JT Not is going to be the first person to go for it. He does not get it. You can see he fluttered, though. He tried to get the jump. All right, let's take a second here and try JT's audio. Let's see how it is. Okay, I can... He can hear my stream. Um... <laughs> So, you're not allowed to watch my stream or listen, because then he can hear, and he just died. <laughs> so, I don't know. That was definitely a death right there. Let's see if his audio is still... Okay, it looks like his audio is pretty good. Yeah, definitely not allowed to watch. But we can use his audio now. Alright, I hope, I hope, oh my god, I'm already clicked on the tab, that's so annoying. I hope that, that didn't cause him to die there. Um, but, I'm pretty sure it does say in the rules. Um, oh, and JT, taking that little hit of damage, alright. Did both runners do the no duck on the airship? Sorry, I was just talking to JT in the Discord, making sure, making sure. Rupert was the only one. All right, okay, Rupert with the six. JT with the three. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Sorry for the, it was only a couple minutes there at the start. Little slip up there. All right, here we go. Okay, now we can get back into the race. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but we are back under control. Everything's good. All right, here we go. JT with that death. I, you might have looked at Discord and been like, oh, crap, and then died. That's... Yep. Gotta read the rules. JT not taking a little bit of hit of damage. Rupert is going to go ahead and take that lead right there. We'll be able to switch over that audio right there. Let's try and get them a little bit more equal. Right on, and there we are. Both runners getting a mushroom. Don't really have to worry about your flower star mushroom cards just yet. And both runners will automatically get a movement to two. 
Just like that, they are good to go. Yeah, the slice strike. He's gonna pick up that back room, backup mushroom, which is a very, very good idea. Um, anything can go wrong in World 2. Any kind of taking damage or anything like that is very, very frustrating. Um, Small Mario is very scary, but now both runners are gonna be able to open up their card slots. Oh, yeah. Now they can start working for the Flower Star Mushroom points. Uh, they can start working on the Mushroom House points. Uh, you know, they can start working on, on a lot of points in this world. Rupert's gonna go for the Stomp Backup P-Speed. Let's see if JT Not gets... JT Not does get fast early P-Speed right there. And just like that, he does catch up a little bit. Looks like, based on timer, they're probably even right now. Probably perfectly even. Yeah, it looks really close. Let's take a look here. Rupert will enter this door at a 5... 551 almost. Yeah, pretty close. Rupert's a little bit ahead still. Neither runner having Fire Flower. Not gonna be able to fire kill him. That would be a great advantage for one of them. Um, having the Fire Flower. So, in World 2, they're gonna be looking for killing the sun. Um, without the end level card and all movements of 2. Which, both runners are getting all movements of 2 right now. JT not gonna go for the patented Red Rocket Strat. Ooh, Rupert, he, when you get the low side hit, that, that does prevent you um, from being able to make it to the top. JT not, he's not gonna be able to keep the P-Speed hit with the Red Rocket. Probably sitting there saying, damn it, Stu. This strat isn't worth it. Damn it. But it is a little bit of a time save if you can nail it. All right, all moves to two from Rupe. He's going to skip the music box. And JT... Um situation he's in right now. I can't really, I can't really tell. Don't, I don't know exactly which Hammer Brothers which, but they're definitely both gonna go for the sun. Uh, Rupert is gonna grab this shell first. He's gonna get the side hit. JT not. Oh, he missed the sun, but the sun's right here. He can stand still. Ooh, okay, he does get it. He missed it at first, but now, now he's got it. He's got his P-Speed back and he's ready to go. Both players hitting that sun up. Rupert's still getting a movement of two. This is getting close for Rupert. We barely ever see the movement of two point for Rupert. And JT Not is definitely gonna want to go up for that hammer brother. Then he's gonna probably want to go right for that mushroom house. Kind of wash out that inventory. We've seen it before. Yep, goes right for the mushroom house. So he knows the strat. Rupert gets a movement of one. And that is it for Rupert. Does JT not? Ah, uh, he does not get the fire flower. He really needs to start making up some points here. Ten, ooh, two for a small Mario. Very scary, man. That's a very scary level of small Mario, but it looks like he's, yes, he's gonna get the backup mushroom. Meanwhile, Rupert makes great work of the pyramid. Pyramid and two four are both the hardest levels in World 2. And neither runner getting the flower. Neither runner getting the flower. Neither runner getting the flower. Rupert's gotta go up to get the, uh, the hammer. Um, now let's see if Rupert's been watching slash practicing. He should go for the Mushroom House right here. Cause, so that he doesn't have to worry about getting the star first. And he does not go for the Mushroom. So this is, um... So in this situation, he either should go to the Mushroom House and grab the Frog Suit. Now let's see here, guys. Let's see. Rupert's situation. He's got a hammer in the last item. Oh, JT not getting... The leaf. He got the fire flower, so he should be in line for fire flower star mushroom. Okay, so back to Rupert though. He's got a he's got a hammer as the last item. He's gonna get a cloud for beating this world. And he has to use a cloud in world three. So if he gets the hammer first in world three, the end part of his inventory is gonna be hammer, cloud, hammer. And that's why you see a lot of runners go to the mushroom house in world two after they get the hammer. So that they have a hammer, random item. Cloud Hammer. That way they can use the cloud without the hammers touching. So in Rupert's situation here, he actually has to fight the Star Bro in World World 3 before the hammer. He has to, or else they're gonna be touching. So that that's his situation right now. We wish him luck. We wish him luck. Alright, however, JT Not, on the other hand, fought the hammer. And then went to the Mushroom House to try and get the Flower Point and have the no items touching, so... 
He's a little bit, uh, JT Knot is a little bit more comfortable. Oh, Rupert's timer is much smaller than I thought. Oh, Rupert. There we go. A little bit small, He's, he doesn't have it. I can't really make it much bigger. Yeah, it's fine. All right, both runners out of World 2. That's exciting, man. Things... World 3, man, starts getting tense. And I mean, JT Knot is already... You know, he's got... That flower card, man. He's right, right there. He's right there, ready to get that one point. Rupert, not ready to get that point, but there's so much game left. Right, it's an interesting play. Getting rid of the Flower Star Mushroom in the early game means you don't have to worry about your end level cards. Um, but at the same time, is it even worrying? Have runners really showed any kind of display of, of worrying about their inventory? Oh, and JT not. Had he participated in Season 1, he would have just got a point. A big old point. Alright, Rupert. It's on 3-2 now. He's gonna go for fast P-Speed. Oh, he almost gets it. Just like that, he does not fall in the water. That's really good. And he doesn't go through any cheap cheap. That's even better, man. Those cheap cheaps are cheap. JT not getting a star, and he's out of coin ship range. He does not want to have two of the same coins. Right? You don't want 22, you don't want 33, you don't want 44 in your coins. Watch out for those coin ships, man. The worst part is, is that the hammer brother with the hammer in World 3 is the one that will turn into a coin ship. Oh, and he goes right through the cheap cheap. Exactly what we were talking about. Doesn't get the hit. He should get it there, and he's good. Nice. And Rupert going strong right now. Boom. Right in there, that pipe. He won't keep P-Speed, though. But he will be able to get through. And JT, just like that, gets the points. Boom. Right there. All right. He's getting some points back. He's getting some points back. All right. No runaway here. Rupert, is he going to go for door three or not go for door three? Let's see. Oh, he's gonna go for it. Oh, and he doesn't get it. Nice try, though. But I think what me and the crowd are looking for, I think what we're looking for is floor clip in World 6. I think that that is something that needs to happen in this tournament. We have not, not a single point has been spent on that, on that clip, so. But Rupert, on the other hand, does have flower card is his first card. He's really gonna show us Aside from last race, which what happened was he kept getting Flower Star Flower for literally like an hour straight. And it looks like Rupert is not going to be able to get the star first and JT not also not getting door three. Get it? JT not getting door three. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh man. But the dad jokes. Oh, Rupert, man, that's so scary. I still, oh my god, and the flowers, man. He just cannot catch a break. I know he's chuckling in his chair right now. All right, so Rupert does, in fact, go for the star first. He has been paying attention to his inventory. I love to see that. Oh, man, and JT Knot is in a beautiful situation right here. He's going to be able to do no water battles and special tile. Where Rupert is not going to be able to. But that's fine. Rupert still has time for that. JT Not on the other hand, better make sure he nails it. I hope he knows. There's a special tile here. Nope. Oh, there it is. He does get it. Rupert is out of there. JT Not does have level four. So both. No water. And both. Wait, no, no, no. Rupert did not get special tile. All right. And just like that. Nice. JT Not going for the slide strats. Gonna get his backup fire flower. Nice. And Rupert not eating, or not getting eaten by the boss bass. Which I probably will later today when I do my crowd control. We got crowd control later today after two races. Two tournament races. Boom. Big day. Big Mario 3 day. All right, JT not looking good in his inventory. Yep, and he's gonna make it to 3-8, and Rupert is 3-9. We wanna see some H jumps. <gasps> nice, he does make it very nice on Rupert's side. H jump is a very important. Oh, and JT not not jumping out of the water. Going to have to take another death like that, and that death after using a cloud, guys. 
That is where the big mistakes come from. That is where the big mistakes come from. That might be the deciding factor of the race. Dying after using... <sighs> Dying after using that cloud, man. That is a you hate to see a moment. I even asked JT not or um before his race asking how he how he was feeling about Mario 3. He said he was playing Mario 1. Um yeah, I think he said he just got a sub 19 in Mario 1, which is really good. Um but then I was like, how's your Mario 3 doing though? Let's see uh is uh you're going to have to do some kind of D-rust run and uh, he said he's doing pretty good. So So we'll see how he can clean up the second half of this game. We're not in World 4 yet. Nice, gonna go for the backup, right the pipe, and he's out of there. Luckily, that death will cause him to be able to just go straight down. And, uh, I don't know, man, maybe a uh, controller, right? It looked like he wanted to get that up input and watch out for that boss fast, but he didn't, he didn't clutch it. Oh, he's gonna go for this cloud, but the bridge! Is he gonna go for another death? For the cloud, I don't know what the right play is here. Maybe he thinks the bridge is closed. The bridge is definitely closed. He could have went right to the level. And now the bridge is going to be open. I think he's got it backwards. I'm going for the fortress. I thought, I thought if anything, he would have gone for the... For the cloud there in 3-7. Maybe he's got a plan. He's got a plan, guys. He's got a plan. Rupert finishing world three. Oh my god, that fortress is always scary, man. With those those ghosts, those ghosts used to be such the like it used to be the biggest problem for me. And taking a death on JT's side. And he is going to be able to cross back over, which leads me to believe that he knew the bridge, so... Very confused on his play right now. There you go, getting rid of that boss bass, and Rupert with the PCP strategies in 4-1 right there. Just like that, Rupert has... I swear, Rupert, you gotta get this mushroom, dude. You gotta get this mushroom. Alright, heading off into 4-2. Off into 4 2 here. Let's get his P Speed strategies. Rupert has been playing a lot of retro for the past few months. He has been non stop. He does a lot of, um, he, he does a lot of Super Mario All Stars, uh, 100% like five ways or something, where he does all five runs on the All Stars. All right, he's gonna go for the Mushroom House. Ah, he does not get the fire flower. Does not get the fire flower. All right, first opportunity to get punished here on Rupert's side for points. Oh, and he takes damage, but that's not going to cost him any time. That's not going to cost him any time. Oh, he could have got a slowdown from the hill there, but he didn't. Nice. Rupert does get Flower Star Mushroom. If... If I remember. What did he get? What did he get? Nice. Use his hammer inventory pretty good. Yeah, Rupert has definitely been practicing. Rupert has definitely been playing and, and has definitely been practicing. All moves of two mean the Hammer Brother is has moved um, two tiles on the overworld. And Rupert swimming blind, he does make it. Yeah, I just want to confirm. Sorry, we got a little Discord traffic going on with the runners right now, but it's it's looking fine. All right, did he already? No, he has not fought the cloud yet. Uh oh. Uh-oh, Rupert! Okay, this is the cloud. Oh wait, did the cloud switch? Oh no! 
He wants to get the star first. No, that's the P-Wing! Oh my god, what is happening? That is hilarious. Alright. So... Did the cloud really run away? That's incredible. Wow, what a bad, what a bad RNG. And he got, he got Marathon too. You really gotta watch out for that Marathon. Nice, you're gonna be able to use a star and get out of there. Very nice. Okay, so what's he gonna do? All right, JT not making it to world four. There are still lots of points. It's all about the points guys Rupert gonna go for that early P speed does not quite get it. He's gonna get the fire flower Is he gonna go back for it though? He's not gonna go back for it. He does know he's got a good chunk of points Maybe uh, maybe JT Knott's thinking to himself. Okay. I gotta get some points because I'm definitely not gonna win this time race. He might not even make it under 60. If he if he starts hauling butt, he might make it. Alright, Rupert, you gotta get one of them. That is okay, I guess. Well, he got the P-Wing first, so it's not gonna be in the back of his inventory. And JT not finally, he's got it, man. He's got it under control. He's clutching us some P-Speed strategies. He's not gonna get punished in 4-3. He's gonna get some points in World 4, and he's gonna catch up in points, right? Meanwhile, Rupert is out of World 4 right now. Right, guys? Right, guys? We want to see some love on JT Knott's side. Having a very rough start, but he can. He's gonna clutch out some points, right? Alright, now that wasn't the Fire Flower like we hoped, but... Lots of points to be made. Lots of points to be made. Rupert was unable to clutch any points in World 4, and that's an opportunity for JT to come in and uh, take some points here. Oh, gets the wall rub. Almost dies. Is this still enough to get the 280? I don't think so. 288. And look at that! He doesn't get punished! See guys, there's, a, there's enough room for um, no mistakes. There's enough room. Alright, he's gonna use that hammer. Inventory looking clean. Gonna use that mushroom. Might as well. That's right. Good plays. Good plays. He's gonna get the cloud first. So he has a good opportunity. It's gonna be hard to tell which Hammer Brothers which with the screen scroll. But from experience, the Hammer Brother walking in the opposite direction of the direction you know that they face for which item they have. I know that sounds like a lot. Will be the uh, will be the Hammer Brother that you know you need. Yep, that's right. I just said all that. And it's absolutely true. Everything I just said is exactly how you would approach the situation of not being able to see the Hammer Brothers. <laughs> yeah, take a take a glass. Yeah, take a sip of water. I'm taking a sip of my soda pop. All right, looks like JT Knot is also going to get a little marathon. Hopefully he gets a fire flower here. What he needs for some points. He's going full pointage, guys. I can see. I can tell. That's a good idea. It's not a bad play. All right. He doesn't know which Hammer Brothers which. Not his fault. Does he get the P-Wing, though? And he does not get the P-Wing, so he's not going to be awarded that point. Rupert getting stomped. But he is out of there. Right on. Just like that. JT Knot. JT Knot can also do the level beside him to get Fire Flower um, if he needs it. All right, should be able to get the backup fire flower here. Nice, nice. Should be right there. Oh no, he's not going to go for the backup fire flower. Most runners who do warpless won't know this level very well. Ooh, nice. Now that was a pretty substantial time loss to four six, I think it is. But literally, like not the end of the world. Like completely fine. All right, Rupert double checking his inventory. He does have a P Wing in the last item slot, so he has to watch out for that. And JT not. Nice. Getting the early P speed, but not going for Fire Flower, so he is going to be getting that point. 
He's only two points behind, guys. Oh, the boom boom! Do you see the boom boom shuffle into the wall and go back out? Nice, dude. Always get to see some weird things happening. Oh! Rupert! Down the shaft of shame! He would definitely be losing a point if this was season one. Yes, guys! Oh, and that turtle almost landed on him. Okay, I don't I don't want anyone to lose, but this is amazing. I love it down here. Look at it. We never get to see what goes on down here. Does Rupert have strategies for this? What? Well, now it's... Now it's not as fun since he knows how to deal with it. Dang it. We want to see some struggle bus going, right? Yeah, well, he was prepared for that. Rupert's too good at Mario. His all-star 100% runs that are like seven hours long. He's too good. Oh, no 69 on JT's side. That's okay, though. Neither runner having Fire Flower. But they are very close in points. We gotta watch for those overworld bumps. On Rupert's side, we do have um, other people on JT's side listening to his audio for bumps, so we will know if he uh, bumps or not. Oh, JT taking damage. Thinks he's he does think he's completely out of this race. So it, I do think he is messing around a lot, but he doesn't know that he's only two points behind, and that's why you should never give up. Just because things go wrong doesn't mean you're, you're guaranteed to lose. And there's two races. There's two races, right? Never give up. All right, here we go. Rupert, make sure he doesn't do any overworld bumps. Very nice. He's going to go for the Twisty Castle. Saving those stars. Some people use stars. Some people don't use stars. Oh, and he doesn't keep the P-Speed. That's definitely gonna hurt his chances. JT not, not going through the boss. Yes, that's good, man. You do not want to go through that boss. It's literally the worst thing. All right, Rupert. Rupert's gonna have to clean up some points here. Go on the second half of World 5 here. Oh, and he takes the death right there. The the spinner. And just like that, JT Knot is not so far behind now, is he? Maybe these are the kind of situations where if, um, when you make mistakes, you don't kind of give up and lose morale. Um, things might not be so bad, right? But we don't know that for sure. We don't know that for sure. JT Knot could be clutching out for points here uh, rather than speed, right? Anything can go. All right, no bumps on JT's side. Fresh world, world five we got. All right, we got roulette, we got 280 in the pyramid, the twisty castle, sorry, no bumps. Rupert getting another movement of four. You hate to see it, man. Those are the worst things to happen. All right, he's gonna get the, the later P-Speed, but that's okay. The backup P-Speed works just fine as long as you know how to deal with it. Oh, no bump on JT's side. Rupert used music box, so he's still in the clear with his inventory. However, JT Knot is gonna have to go for some item before getting the P-Wing here. Rupert, here we go. Mushroom. The inner Mario 3. The inner kid. Some weird some weird smiling flower thing. Not gonna cut it. Uh, no bump on his side though, which is pretty good. And uh, JT not with another flower getting through 5-2. Uh, not falling down the shaft, so he is going to save a good chunk of time on Rupert there. So the Hammer Brother in JT Knot's direction is the Hammer Brother with the P-Wing. If he gets that, he will be out. He will definitely be out um, the inventory point, which would be very bad. He needs to, he needs to get as many points as he can. Desperately needs to get as many points as he can. He should be playing the points game right now. I mean, which I mean, all runners should be. But I mean, if you can keep clutching 52 minute times while getting some points, I mean that that's a pretty good uh, strategy as well. So no bumps. Hammer Brothers do switch. That is great for him. All right, he's gonna go for the roulette game. 
Rupert doing a little splish splash. Ooh, both runners getting mushroom fla- Ooh, mushroom flower star. Was that a bump on the overworld? I feel like that was a bump right there on JT's side. I feel like that was a bump right there on JT's side. That was a bump on JT's side, but he does get star. Get star first. All right, Rupert, last try. Ooh, and Rupert not getting it. Nice, JT not entering the Twisty Castle. He's not too far behind Rupert. Gonna go for that 280. Ah, oh, I don't know if that's gonna be able to do it. Rupert getting late piece speed. Very scary in this level. JT not missing the pipe transitions in the Twisty Castle. Nice, making his way through. Dang, those up pipes. And Rupert not bumping on the overworld map, and that's gonna secure him that one point. <sighs> Rupert's gotta start cleaning up some points here. His world four and world five are looking a little naked here. Same with JT not looking a little naked. He did get early P speed though, and he has bumped on the overworld map, so the only thing left for him is the roulette game. He's not going to be taking a death in this level, I hope, which means he's going to be able to gain a little bit more time on Rupert. Not too far behind. He's only two points behind, and both runners are good in their inventory as well. Even with that, that rocky start on JT Not's side, this race is still anyone's game, especially with points here. Nice, gonna get the side jump. You have to jump off of that fire chomp guy if you get late P-Speed. Nice, gonna go for the Mushroom S, man. Come on, he's gotta start getting some good RNG here. The game's gotta start giving him something. Come on, game. That's just it, man. He has time. He's got to go for this kind of stuff. Mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. There you go. And just like that, getting some points, getting some lives. There it is, man. He's getting some stuff here. That's what I'm talking about. He's got a Tanuki suit. Might as well use it. Take a damage boost. Early P speed. Grab Fire Flower back up. 5-7. Back in the game. Didn't do anything I just said, but that's okay, right? You got to go... You gotta go with what you're comfortable, right? Maybe that Tanuki suit is something for his inventory. I don't know. I mean, if I was running, you know, I'd have to be more in tune with my inventory as well. So I better mind my own business, you know, let, let runners deal with their own inventory their own way, right? None of my business. I should worry about my inventory. All right, Rupert looks like he's pretty good. World six gets a little confusing because the last item in his inventory is a cloud and then a hammer and he has to use a hammer in this world. JT not, is he gonna get that fire flower? Does not get the fire flower and it's like, he might as well keep searching mushroom houses. But he is behind in a sense where he, is the mushroom house search worth the sub 60, right? Does get the early P speed. Rupert does get the early P speed as well, but he does touch and misses the door, it looked like, and that is probably going to be what cost him the point here. Yep, and that's going to cost him the point. Not the end of the world, though. For me, 6 Fort 1 is like, okay, as long as I don't die, I think I can get out of World 6. That, that has always been my biggest issue when speedrunning this game, is World 6 Fort 1. The P speed strategies are a must, um, and they're always so dangerous. All right, JT not last level in World 5, and he is out of there. All right, he's got his P-Speed. One of the easier levels, but you can have some mix-up, mick-up in this level, but he, he, he turned out to be pretty good. And Rupert, in one of the scarier levels, makes his way through, and the flipper doesn't flip him down into the pit of death. All right. JT not. Oh, I think he has two stars touching in his inventory. Oh, and Rupert, you got to... Oh, he's got... Dude, Rupert's inventory is kind of looking like uh, Maiba's inventory from that game one, right? Star, P-Wing, Star, P-Wing. 
Nice, man. We're starting to see some common inventory strategies. Oh, the tail swipe. Rupert with the swag strats. I mean, the despawn strat is definitely top tier swag, but dropping down, tail swiping, and jumping up like that, pretty cool backup, if you ask me. Pretty nice backup. I think Rupert's first battle against the, the Hammer Brother was a low pattern. Yes, I'm pretty sure it was a low pattern. He's got two Hammer Brothers left here. And it's a high pattern, unfortunately, anyways. There you go, he's got the cloud. So let's see what he does here. Oh, he gets the special tile! Boom, and just like that, oh, he gets bad RNG, but that's okay. He got the point. Boom. Nice JT not coming in clutch with the stops. Rupert gonna be able to use that hammer. Nice, gonna go for the casual backup right there. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, not having to be perfect. He's probably not gonna wanna take, oh! He's gonna do the extremely scary flying below strat. Dude, that, that scares me, man. Those strategies are very scary. We're getting a little buffer here. Here we go. 6-8. JT not. We're gonna get a chance to check check out his inventory here. Nice, take damage. Gonna go for the mushroom as oh Rupert wants to go for the one up, I think. Yep. Yes he does. JT not just can Oh my god, dude. If he uses that cloud though, that's two uh two leafs touching. And he does get top pattern there. Rupert just realized what happened. That's actually really good for JT, especially if JT has two stars touching. Oh, and he's gonna take that death, man. Yep. Gonna have to take that one of the death. Yeah, the P-Wing, man. He, he still can get that point back. He still get that point back. All right, Rupert. Nice, Rupert knows his lives. Rupert is going to get this clip, guys. He's got to get the clip here. Ah, oh, dang it! It wasn't his fault, though. He he didn't have he didn't have the best setup for it. it wasn't his fault. Dang, someone's got to get that clip. Oh, JT not gets a coin ship. Oh no, the coin ship. And that is the cloud. He needs that item. JT not not having a good world six. Not a good start. The uh, RNG has not been working his way. Been rocky starts, coin ships, deaths. Ooh, man. I feel bad. That's, that is a you hate to see it moment, man. You hate to see a moment. Oh, he's going for the, the harder level, I think, to save the P-Wing. However, it's a cloud he's missing out on. So he's doing a longer level. Let's hope he knows this level. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm scared. All right, Rupert, get a point in World 6. Come on, dude. All right, first try. Oh, he doesn't get it, but nice try. All right, dude, JT getting through the, like one of the hardest levels and a small Mario. What the heck, man? He, he's taking a couple deaths, but he's doing one of the hardest levels in the game as small Mario. I can't be, I can't be anything but impressed. Oh, and they switch up on him. He does have stars and P-Wings touching, but he's gonna use that. He does have a saved P-Wing. He, he has leafs, but he's not using them. Oh, 
All right, Rupert is gonna he's gonna do some kind of uh, he's gonna shift around a little bit for some sub pixel manips. And just like that, he's on the fortress. He's going to begin his way to six eight. Six eight. Here we go, 6-8. He is missing a cloud. However, he did get upper pattern. Dude, if his first hammer brother was low pattern, he would have been getting the point, right? He didn't find any other hammer brother. All right, Rupert, five tries. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh my god, Rupert just did five perfect jumps in a row and he got bad RNG on all of them. Love to see it. JT not man, slowly catching up. He's missing a cloud though. The 7-1 gatekeeper. Oh, ho, ho, ho. come on, Roop. Ah, there we go, we're in there. Let's go, dude, GG's. Nice, JT not doing 6-9, Kappa. Best level ever. All right, JT, he's definitely gonna go for the clip. He is in a situation where this clip could be actually pretty crazy for him. Come on, JT Not. You got this, man. You got this. Ah, oh, dang. Nice try, dude. Nice try, though. Definitely an, a valiant effort right there. You love that you love to see these runners trying these strats, man. And again, like I said, nobody has gotten that 643 clip. And every time we get to it, man, I'm I'm just my hopes. My hopes are at like a thousand percent. Ooh, Rupert missing the drop drop. The pipe to pipe transition. That's okay. One pixel, guys. One pixel sets you up for that. Right? You can only, you, when you get through the pipe, you have to be on one pixel. The furthest pixel to the right will allow you to drop into that other one. So not too bad. All right, Rupert making his way to item abuse island. Boom. Dunk. Dunkin' on some turtles right now. Very nice. JT Knot is not gonna be able to get the hammer suit either, which means if he does make it to the sun in World 8 in time, he will not be able to kill the sun. And we did see the, the turtle shell sun kill before. We have seen that in a race, so if he does use a tail, I mean, he could, or a P-Wing. That's just gonna be really hard. Oh, and he gets the clip right there, man. JT not getting a point. And that's what we wanna see, man. That's what we wanna see. He is down a cloud, though, so, um, he's actually not going. Is he going to be able to cloud 7 4 still? I think he is. Yeah, I think he is. All right. All right, Item Abuse Island is almost done. As long as JT does not take damage here, you will not have to do. There you go. And just like that, sets up his subpixel manipulation, and Rupert is on his way out of Item Abuse Island, on his way to Island 3. He does have two stars, though. This could be a little risky situation here. Will he get a fanfare? 7-7 seven, seven is the comfortable level, yep. I don't blame him. I don't blame him, that's the comfortable level, right? And he might be in a better situation where he's less stressed to uh, worry about not getting a star. Cause that's gonna, that's gonna be a big point loss for him if he gets two or three stars, right? He's gonna go over 21 lives and he's gonna get a fanfare. <gasps> All right, he's in the clear. All right, JT, one, two, three, or he does get it and JT does get it and he is now back two point only two points behind I'm telling you man. I know he made up a lot of mistakes and I know it's easy to drop your morale early in the game thinking you're gonna lose but man. Oh, man He's getting the points right and that's what it's all about the points He's Gonna go for the mushroom house. He wants to get more points 
Come on, man. He has not gotten one flower. Like, even I would be frustrated at the RNG there. Come on, give him the flower. He still does not get the flower. I mean, this game, that, that's his last mushroom house. He can't search any more mushroom. Rupert getting mid clip. Just like that, right there for Rupert. All right, here goes JT. Oh. All right, getting the P speed. Ooh, watch out! All right, Rupert doing the combo, combo wombo. However, he has had stars already touching in his inventory, so not going to be getting those points there. And same with JT, not neither of them are going to get the two. I hope JT knows that the other two mushroom houses in World 7 are Tanuki Frog Suit. Well, he can't go for that one, that's for sure. Um, Tanuki Suit, Frog Suit, and Hammer Suit is the RNG of the last two mushroom houses in World 7. Nice, making his way through 7 3 very nicely. Boom. Well, since one's on auto scroller and one is in item abuse island, did JT not die four times? He died on 3 8, he died in 3 4 2, and he died in. What was the other level he died in? He died in uh, 6 4 1. 1 6. I counted the one, so I must have missed the fortress or the 3 8 one. Yeah, okay, there you go. Four deaths, sorry. All right. Using that P Wing. That was the perfect time to inquire on that because we got Auto Scroller and Item Abuse Island. You know, I love Item Abuse Islands. You just go through, it's super easy. Not a, not a care in the world. Good old Item Abuse Island. All right. Rupert is almost in World 8, and JT Knot is in the last islands here. He's gonna go for the 7 8. He's probably gonna grab that hammer suit, keep it for the rest of the run. That's a good idea. He might trade Wrangless for Star, right? He might trade Wrangless for Star. And there you go. Oh, he touches the thing, but that's okay. I don't think time right now. I Like, I know he's trying to go fast. But I don't think time right now is what he's particularly looking for. Duck! Oh, nice. All right, here they go. No, that, no. Well, maybe he wants, if he gets hammer suit, he'll go for Wrangless. Frog suit. All right, Rupert, here we go. JT not. I don't want to see clips, but he cannot bleed any more time. This is going to be it. This is going to be the demise, the downfall. He's going to run out of too much time. It's very easy to have minutes go by. Auto scroller island? No, now we're in auto scroller land. So JT Knot has no more clouds, so he, he does have to go for levels, but he needs this point. Oh, messes up the first one. Ah, oh, and he doesn't get the second one. Very unfortunate. Oh, he gets the, the P-Speed list clips. You love to see it. That's some good RNG. And there you go, he's out of there. That's right, he got all the other clips. All right, let's give this guy a little bit of a refresh. Maybe he's a little further. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, he's gotta go for the fortress. All right, good luck.
All right, let's see some swag strats. Gonna go for the star. Nice. All right, Rupert, come on, man. I want to see a Wrangless. Oh, the suspense. The hammer suit right here. Oh, no Wrangless for Rupert. That's good for JT, though. Very nice hammer suit strategies. Very nice. Uh oh, the suspense. The suspense is killing me. Oh, and he takes the damage and he doesn't have another hammer suit. That's okay, he can now go for Wrangless. I don't think he would have made it to 8 2, but maybe. We'll see. Should be out of there. Unfortunately, he's having extremely bad internet issues right now, but we got Rupert. Hooking us up. Nothing we can do about other people's internet, guys. There's nothing we can do about other people's internet. Just like that, he is out of there. Internet, hopefully clearing up a little bit. Alright, Rupert is going to be the first to cross the hands. Is this dial up for something? I... I... Beats me. Yeah, nothing we can do here. Alright, first hand on Rupert's side. As long as Rupert doesn't take damage and gets a nice, clean World 8. Get in that pipe, Rupert! You didn't have internet for the entire day? Oh, that's so annoying. And number two for Rupert! Does Rupert get hand number three? Oh, he gets the clip. I love that. All stuck in there. Oh, and he gets the third hand, and that is good for Rupert. All three hands right there, man. That is good for him. He needs to clutch as many points. That's right. The only time three hands are good is right there. Exactly. And just like that. JT Knot is definitely much further ahead on the airship, but we can't get a good refresh. All right, Rupert, save the animals, dude. Save the animals. Looks like he's saving! Oh! As long as he doesn't take damage. Now, Rupert definitely knows how to get through World Day without taking damage. Now, doing it with, with saving the animals, though, that's a completely different story. And just like that, no Rocky kills on Rupert's side. JT not. It's not even his offline image. It's close. Yeah, we'll see if JT not he lost his internet Smash his way through 8-1 Rupert is going to be coming up He will have 20 lives man. He will have 20 lives after this. Don't worry. We'll keep refreshing JT not making sure Looks like his internet is dumping right now. Rupert with the hammer suit. Is he gonna get the sun here? There you go, JT is back! We're gonna load in with some new... Oh! Rupert with the early shots! Come on, Rupert! Don't lose it! 
The sun is actually in incredibly hard to hit. You gotta wait until the- Oh! Fireballs! Oh! What the heck? Wow! Rupert getting wrecked there! What is that? That is a very unfortunate thing. That is something you never see. The fire kind of scared him a little bit, right? And it looks like JT not somehow took damage. So he's not going to be able to get Wrangless on the airship. And his internet is really... Nice, he's so going to be able to get that. And that is unfortunate for Rupert. He's not going to be able to get the no damage. Looks like JT Knot's internet just kind of snapped back into place there. Kick just took damage from doinking around, but he's not going to be able to get under 60s, so it won't really matter here. Not going to be able to get the Wrangless. Alright, Rupert on last auto scroll. JT not getting in on the Navy. JT not can still get the no Rocky kills and all hands. Doinking around, man. You gotta watch out for the doinking. Let's see, uh, Rupert is in line for the 21 lives, and that will be it. That'll, that'll be the last thing you get. Nice, JT Knot's internet just kind of catching up with them a little bit there. That's good, we'll give him a quick little refresh here. Okay, he is much further ahead than he was before. That's good. Nice, I'm glad I just refreshed, because it caught up. All right, no Rocky kills here. Oh, and he kills one and takes damage. Very unfortunate, man. He needed them, and he only got one hand, so... The only thing left he can get is the sun kill, but I don't think... I mean, he's got to use something, like a P-Wing. Grab the shell. That's really all he's got left. Rupert slipping up a bit. Well, the internet is starting back up again. Oh, Rupert doing a whole bunch of Karuas there. No, he's good. As long as he makes his way through. Did not get Wrangless. He didn't have Fire Flower, so it doesn't... Yeah, it, he didn't... He, he couldn't get it. Come on, Rupert. You got this. Last few shots. Come on, Bowser. There we go. JT not taking another death right there. It's going to take second place, and he's going to get under 60 minutes. Big punishments right there. And just like that, the scores take an extremely, extremely unfortunate turn there. And Rupert finishes with the 5840 right there on the clock. First place. Just like that. I don't, I have no idea how JT can come back from this. I mean, it is possible. I just, it's, man, it'd be so tough. Oh, that's right. Rupert with the 20 lives. Yep. 13 to 2. Very nice A2 on JT's side. That's what you love to see, man. Nice, the JT runs is going to stop in 30 seconds. 
you get punished, man. You get punished for not beating it in under 60 minutes. So, um, a good analysis on how this race went today was essentially... Essentially, JT Knott had a very, very bad slip-up in World 3. Um, and that only cost him time, but I feel like it affected him in a way where he kind of gave up, judging by the way he was playing after. And that... He only lost time. He was fine in points. And it seemed like his overall morale dropped. But again, I'm not too sure. All right, let's do this. All right. Three, two, one, go! Hopefully Rupert doesn't select two player because that would suck. All right, there we go. Both runners are off. And just like that, we are on our way. Race two between Rupert and JT Knot in round two. These guys are gonna be moving on to round three and we already have a round three game scheduled today. Nassault versus Zikabi. Round three. All right, JT Knot already doing much better than last run. So let's hopefully, let's hopefully get some good movements going on here. On the left-hand side, we, or sorry, for you guys, it's on the bottom. For me, it's on the left-hand side, but you guys got the tracker. And what these runners are going to be looking for in World 1 is the frame-perfect jump on the Hammer Brother and um, staying in the duck form on the entire airship the whole time. Rupert got that last time. JT not did not. And uh, we're going to need to see it either reversed or both of them getting it because that is worth two points. Big point games right at the start of the run. Just like that, Rupert getting early P speed. Same with JT. Wow, JT not holding back, going for the orb jump. And just like that, look at that. They're both flying together towards freedom. In the door, grab that warp whistle. Let's go. Now, this is what I'm talking about. We always have a shaky race one, and then race two becomes like the most clutch race we've ever seen. So, Let's see how this goes. Both got to do damage boost. Both getting P speed. He'll jump. He'll jump. Ooh, Rupert kept his speed speed. JT didn't. But JT's able to get the duck jump. Oh, he tries to go for the tunnel. Rupert takes damage. And JT takes the lead right there. Right there with that one. And just like that. JT has now taken the lead. There we go. They're both in this level. Rupert, little splash up. Little mix up. JT getting the P-Speed, and he's moving on. Rupert not getting the P-Speed. This is, this is exactly the kind of stuff that JT needs to happen. Nice, Rupert getting it, and he's out of there. Very nice. All right, JT not is going to go straight for that Mushroom Mouse. He's like, I'm sick and tired of this, man. I'm getting that Fire Flower, whether this game likes it or not. And the first item he gets is the Fire Flower. Wow, man. Wow, what are the odds, dude? He spent the entire last game not getting it. And he gets the frame perfect jump right there. Right there. Does Rupert get the fire flower as well though? Oh, he does not. I don't think Rupert got the frame perfect jump on the hammer brother. They were so close to each other. I couldn't watch both at once, but I don't think he did. All right, here we go. Dance my puppets, dance. Duck. All right, here it is. Here it is. I want to see no peeking. Wow, that was close. Ah, oh, JT not man. He was so close to getting eight points. Oh, and Rupert as well. Man, if JT Not did not mess that up, man, holy crap. He would have a huge point advantage so early in the game. But just like that, he is out of there. He's now in the airship. Sounds like JT Not's audio is streaming from like a cave or something. You love those cave strats, man. I'm all about those cave strats. Boom. Oh. 
Just like that. Both runners are out. And this is the kind of start. This is the kind of start that JT not needs, man. This is this is what I'm talking about. This is where it all begins, man. He's got he's got a two point advantage. Could have had a four point advantage, man, which would have been crazy. He would have been halfway there, but it's not over yet, Rupert. Hey, man, he's been known to pick up some points here and there. We've seen him from the beginning. Rupert has been very consistent, stayed under the 60 minute mark, and he's kept some very consistent point grabs. He knows what he can do, he knows what he can't do, and he stays within those possibilities. Just like that, proving my point, knows what he can do, knows what he can't do. All right, guaranteed movement of two after the first level, always movement of two. JT not with the two stars. This is exactly what he would not need to happen The lives would mess up his lives count and it would just completely screw over um, His gained points here Losing points is huge in this but Sometimes it's hard enough to get the points, but There you go. He's good, man. I was nervous. I was like not watching his screen from nerves I was like if I watch he might mess up, you know, you got to look away all right, another movement of two on his side. Rupert coming along nicely, getting the fanfares done. Now they can start their Flower Star Mushroom card. Now they can start it. He should be able to get back up P-Speed. Rupert also getting a movement of two right there. Very nice. Rupert gonna go for the, uh, the back up P-Speed. That should be fine. Yeah, he's good. Nice. Nice, JT making his way through. Both runners have Fire Flower here, where last run, neither runner had Fire Flower here. So they are both a step up right here. They're both a step up. Another movement of two on JT Not side. He's getting some pretty good RNG. Maybe he's just gonna go for like some straight up full clear cards here or something. Gonna go for the Red Rocket here. Much better than last time. Oh, and the premature shot with the red rocket. I don't know how that that can that sounds bad in so many ways. He does make it though. And he is out of there. Gonna allow Rupert to catch up some time. And just like that, JT Nod is starting off strong with a flower as his first card. Hey man. Rupert and his flower star mushrooms. This is a this could be an advantage for JT Nod. Be an advantage, you never know. All right, here we go. He's gonna grab the first one. It's so interesting to watch runners. They, they, everyone grabs different turtle shells in this. I love it. Oh, he thought he was gonna be able to get that off. Oh, he doesn't get the sun kill and that turtle shell is just playing with him. And Rupert is now going to catch up. Rupert likes to go for the last sun, or sorry, the last turtle shell gets it. Keeps his fire flower and P speed. And wow, JT not getting a flower and just like that. Look at this, guys. Holy jumping. This is crazy. Nice side jump. Rupert is going to go first into the mushroom house. Rupert is not going to get the fire flower. However, he didn't fight the hammer brother yet with the hammer. That would have been a good play to get the hammer first. Right? Get the hammer first, then do the mushroom house. Then he doesn't have to worry about when he goes to World 3. Alright, JT not, not getting uh, the best RNG uh, in World 2, but I think he's okay. I think he's doing just fine. Whoa! Not getting the head bonk. Yep, that guy spawned there. Rupert with another movement of 1. Boom. He's starting off really strong. He's slipping up a little bit. We want—we don't want to see any slip-ups. Rupert definitely should get that music box though, right? Rupert should definitely get that music box so he doesn't have to worry about RNG in World 3. World 3 already has enough RNG going on. Oh, he's, oh he did get the break. Wow, that was good. Okay. JT Not also to go for the Mushroom House or the Hammer Brother here. No, he's gonna go for neither. Ooh, this could be a recipe for disaster. Both runners have that hammer exposed. Ooh, this could be scary right now. This could be scary. 
This could be scary. How's it going, chat? Hey, did I miss the hype train? Thanks, guys. Thank you very much, everyone. All right, well, I'll take this moment to, uh... Sammy Cakes with the 1,000 bits. Thank you very much. Sun Sunshine DJ with the gift sub to Mudabum. Thank you very much. And Metasaur ADC Challenger with the tier 1 sub. Thank you, guys. Eternal Samus, 300 bits. Mortal Cobra, 500 bits. Remember, guys, save your bits for crowd control. Save those bits for crowd control. Get some coins. And, uh... You guys can screw with me directly in game. And uh, yes, thank you guys so much for the support. Let's get back to game two here. Both runners got their fire flowers. They're very close to each other. Very, very close to each other. Mm. Oh, that jump is like the worst pattern. This boss, world two boss is by far the worst. Ooh. Oh my god, that was scary. Go for the uh, off-screen wand grab right there. Rupert, able to keep his Fire Flower. Both runners have to go for the stop strats, though. So no time saves versus time, time lost there. So we're good. He does have the Flower card. Everything else looks good. They both got the sun. Rupert. Not all movements to two. Alright, here we go. World three. Tropical. Tropical world three. Let's go, baby. Alright, both runners in 3-1. Let's see if JT Knock gets Fire Flower here or in 3-2. Looks like he's gonna go for the Fire Flower in 3-2. That's not a bad idea because it gives a good reason to not have to go for the very scary P-Speed strategy in 3-2. Not going for 3-2 in like tournament or race runs is really, really good. Alright, here we go. Is he going to do the fall down? No, he's going to do the bonk and the turnaround. That's great. Wow, Rupert not in the best situation. Looking very close to uh, Runaway Bro territory. Rupert almost getting that early P-Speed. Very scary, though. Doesn't fall in the drink yet. Oh, wow. Look at these runners, man. Absolutely de de destroying this level. It's one of the easiest levels in the game. And by obviously, I was being sarcastic. We can go over to Rupert's audio. We're having, uh, we're having some of the... Uh, some of the buffering issues on JT Not. If you can get through the rest of this world without buffering, then we're um, we're in the clear. This is gonna be really hard for me to track points, those guys. It's gonna be hard for me. I can't refresh. I have to let it go. Make sure we get some points. He's definitely not behind Rupert right now, obviously, but I can't refresh or reload because I gotta take check for the points here. But both runners doing a very good job in this level. 3-3 is probably one of the more fun levels in this world. Oh, there you go. He gets the flower card, and so does Rupert. Rupert very close to Runaway Bro, and it looks like he's gonna get a water pattern, so this is some bad things happening for Rupert. Does he get door three? Does not get the door three. Gonna keep trying, though. Just like that, JT Not gets a water battle. Very unfortunate. Neither runner is gonna get it. Runner is gonna get it. Very unfortunate internet issue, guys. And just like that, JT Knot gets the special tile. However, he does get the hammer, brother. He gets the hammer first, so he is going to be unfortunately screwed on the two items touching. And uh, buffers right at door three. So I have no idea yet. He does not get door three. Okay. Pretty sure JT Knot has some very unfortunate items touching in his inventory. It's that he's got Hammer Cloud Hammer, right? And in his situation, he really needs to get these extra points. Rupert with the Flower Star here. Rupert with the Flower Star, and he does get away without Runaway Bro, but he's not going to get any of those points in World 3. No special tiles. 
Um, and no, no water battles. No door three. Very rocky start. And just like that, two items touching on Rupert's side. And I, it's going to be the same for JT. I'm just waiting for JT to get to a point where I can refresh, but... I mean, buffering. Internet being a troll here. JT with another water battle. Sorry guys, I mean, there's not much I can do about other people's internets, but we still got Rupert holding this over. Oh, and JT with the damage there. He already has special tiles, so I'm not sure what he's looking for. He already got the special tile. But he's out of there, man. So he should be able to get his backup fire flower here. Go for the slide strats. Now he should be able to do the big slide strats. Rupert not getting the age jump. It's going to be bad news right there. All right, I just want to take a look at JT's Knot's inventory before we refresh his stream. He's definitely ahead of Rupert. Oh, and he gets a flower as well. Rupert, did Rupert get flower star mushroom? I'm pretty sure he did. That's right, he did. Just want to double check with you guys. All right, let's take a look at this inventory. Both items are touching. We can now refresh JT Knot's stream. He should be on the airship right now. Oh, it's not giving me the proper refresh here. Not giving me the proper refresh here. <gasps> oh, and he dies again in 3-8. I'm at a loss of words, guys. I'm supposed to be the one who's getting eaten by Boss Bass today during crowd control. But he's doing it all for me, man. I don't have to worry about it. I can't believe that two times in a row that fish... Alright, well, so far... So... He's further... He's gotta be further ahead than this, right? Because he was ahead of Rupert when all the buffering started, and he, he didn't take any time loss except for that death from the boss bass, but he should have been further ahead at that time. So I'm just gonna kind of keep refreshing. His internet is going to like snap back in place. Ooh, he really could have used that one up. Breaking the bricks. Hopefully he doesn't get a fire flower here. Doesn't get a fanfare though, that's good. All right, uh, I didn't miss any points here. JT Not did take the death though. And just like that, he's out of the water. Maybe he's gotta clean that controller, man. Work on those up inputs, right? He, does, he will have to take that death. Very dangerous. So yeah, we should be able to catch up here with some refreshes. There you go, that's some refresh right there. I don't I don't know if it's gonna actually catch up to Rupert though. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give Rupert his point. I just I'm trying to I'm a little bit more worried right now. Alright, Rupert in World 4. Alright, well, there's nothing I can do. His stream is obviously not accurate because we buffer for 5 seconds and then it, it loads the same spot he's in, right? So obviously, at home right now, JT is probably fighting Wendy. Not where he is right now, so we're waiting for it to, to finish up there. Rupert finally relieved from the Flower Star Mushroom section. But is he going to get the fire flower from the mushroom house? Oh, and he does not get it, so he's not going to be getting that point. Yeah, internet, man. I can't. Alright, here we go, Rupert. Don't get punished. 
Oh, takes the damage like last time. Does the turn back. But he's still good. See, I was pretty kind. I was pretty kind for this world. At right, 288, you can still take damage. Still make a mistake. You're pretty good. And Rupert needs to clean up some points here. Items are touching, so he doesn't have to worry about that, which is good. But he can get the, the Cloud P-Wing and the early P-Speed. Nice. 4-4 four, four is dangerous. All right, swimming blind. Lactu's gonna throw one. Yep, right there, man. We knew it. Lactu always. He always plays his tricks on people, and it's always. He always throws a spiny right where you don't want one. Always, man. Lactu's always sniping. All right. I don't know, Rube. Is it a P Wing? Oh, it is! And he does get the point. There you go. Ties it up in game two points. JT Knot is probably... We don't even know... Right? With the internet issue, we don't even know if he's gotten punished in 4-3 or not. We don't even know. But I can't refresh past that point, right? I can't. There's nothing I can do. Go internet. Alright, here we go. Early P-Speed. Point for Rupert. And just like that, he gets the early P-Speed. Boom. Rupert clutching in some points. We're going to move his tracker to the world five now. Rupert is on his way. Yeah, he did get P-Wing and then Star, so he should be good. But he should probably get... I don't know, because he's going to get an item for beating world four. Nice internet, unfortunately. All right, well, being as we got buffer land and auto scroll, I can hang out with you guys for a little bit. How's it going, chat? Not a whole lot going on right now. Working out some points here. JT is gonna have to clean up some points. And uh, he's got two points to get in world four. He's gonna have to clean up some points in world five. Now it's time for some donations. Uh, I'll read off anything if I got anything. Uh, Eternal Samus with the gift sub to play with Penelope. Thank you very much. Is that Oval Teen Hangover? Thank you for the 130 bits. I really appreciate that. The Boomsticks with the 100 bits as well. Thank you very much. Uh, I think I already read those though. Thank you guys. He taking damage in that 4-1 though. Gonna get his backup mushroom. Nice, making his way through 4-1, nice and clean. Getting it done. Just like that, he's in there. All right. Now, I really hope that JT Not stream doesn't snap him back into place. Because then we might miss it. I don't wanna miss it. And it just snapped him there. Oh God. His internet is snapping him back forward. He does get the flower. Oh wow, this is like fast forward version. Will we will he get the 280? Does he get punished? He's looking good! Does he get the star? He gets the star! Wow, fast forward version. Alright, gets the cloud first. Look at that. Alright. Yeah, man, look at this fast forward. I love this. He just keeps jumping back in the water. Amazing. Does he get the mushroom? 
He does not get the mushroom. He's got a music box here. Gets the star, so he's not gonna get that point either. He, he had the music box there. All right, he appeared there randomly. All right, making good work of this level. Takes damage. Yeah, this is the way to watch the tournament now. Nice, gets another flower. That's good, he's gonna go for the P-Wing here. Does he get early P-Speed though? He does get early P-Speed. We can give him the early P-Speed point. Now we are in a position where we can refresh. And just like that, we are finally on par with where he actually is. And it's not that far behind. All right, we made it, guys. We made it through. We made it, guys. We made it. All right, Rupert. Bump, Rupert is in bump land. Is he going to fall back down? Is he gonna fall back down? I'm very scared for him, but he clearly showed that he knows how to get back through. And this is very scary for JT. And the buffering begins. He might go right through the boss. I'm very worried for that. Taking a death on this boss would be the worst. And he doesn't. Thank goodness. I'm so scared. I wonder where he took all his damage. He's got all these items. Alright, Rupert. Gets out of 5-2. 7 points for each. Just like that, Rupert making great work. The fortress. Nice, he gets through, he's got his fire flower. JT not gonna enter World 5. Any any of my judges watching World 5, you cannot refresh, you have to let it buffer and listen. Or else it'll you can't refresh past. Rupert is gonna go for the roulette. Mushroom. Mushroom. Oh, and he gets the mushroom, and just like that, boom. We'll go to world five. JT not side. Two fire flowers. Nice. Rupert gets through without a bump. He's gonna use a star this time. Didn't use a star last time. Realized he has a lot of stars. JT not finishes, no bumps yet on JT's side. Ooh, Rupert, no! Oh, dang it, the pipes, man. Dude, the up pipes are the worst. All right, go for the slide strats. Nails it, nice, dude. I always love seeing some of these P-Speed strategies, some of these world record strategies come in clutch. Don't get a flower here. Ooh, man, always so scary. Make sure he doesn't get coin ship. Rupert definitely wants to make sure he doesn't get coin ship here. Oh, Rupert, what the heck happened? He thought he had P speed, but it got taken from him. Every time he gets a point, man, it gets taken from him. So this is a chance for JT to really clutch in some points here. Just like that. Rupert's probably saying, what the heck, how did I die like that, man? He just made it through the level at ease. All right, JT not working on that boom boom. Out of here, get out of here, boom boom. All right, he's gonna wanna not go for the P-Wing first. JT not is still in the clear for items in his inventory. Mushroom, 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 and he does get it. Clutches it just like that. Rupert's gonna get his mushroom back up. I have not had a good chance to look at JT's inventory. I have no clue, guys. We're trying here. No bumps on the overworld map from him. If this is a P-Wing, then yeah, looks like JT Not is out of the inventory game. That is gonna be two P-Wings touching. We would have wanted to get that star first. Not equipping a star in the Twisty Castle. Let's see how it goes here. Both runners are out of the inventory game. Wait, I think JT Not was out by World 3 anyways. And Small Mario definitely affecting the distance of jumping into the up pipes. Don't worry about those, man. It's like a different angle. It's a different distance. Mm, 
getting that block bump. Don't think he's going to be able to get the, two, the 280, man. I don't know. 286, maybe. Oh, not anymore, man. Not with that missed pipe. Still don't think it was possible. Close. 280, 279. Yeah, there it is. Rupert with the turn back to make sure to despawn that dry bones. The worst. Dry bones is the worst. Nice. JT gets through this without dying. He will catch up a little bit of time on Rupert. Meanwhile, Rupert has his last level in this world. He's got the 5-8. Last time, early peace be kind of messed with him a bit. Oh, he messed with him again. He gets it back, though. Wow, man, it's really been toying with them. JT. Oh, was that a bump on JT's side? I feel like that was a bump on JT's side. No bump on Rupert's side. Just like that, he gets another point. I'm pretty sure that was a bump on JT's side. Go for that extra hammer, brother. That music box. Although he does have two. Not sure why he's going for that music box. I'm pretty sure he still has a music box uh, from World 3, right? He only needs one for the Piranha Plant at the end of the game. Especially if he's not going to use it in World 4 or World 5, right? That's the primary place to use it. But he is going to get through this fortress. Boom, just like that. Um, let's see if a refresh can get him back to his original position. And it does, right on. Okay, so JT is out of there. And now we can see the time difference between the two runners here. No lifeline from either runner. No lifeline. And again, guys, I, I, I massively apologize, guys, for the buffering. I know... When one video is buffering, it, it kind of takes away from the intensity of the race. And again, I'm very, very sorry. Um, not a whole lot I can do. I feel I feel really bad, but I'm sure you guys understand. And um, we'll be able to get on with the, the Zika Bean Assault. And hopefully we have better internet uh, for the rest of the day. It looks like JT's internet's clearing up a little bit, so it's okay. Uh, but again, I'm very sorry, guys. Very sorry. All right. Rupert entering World 6. Inventory definitely items are touching. Um, let's see if he gets low pattern here he Does not get a low pattern so he can count himself out there Two runners are not too far apart right now Rupert gonna go up to the mushroom house. Will he get the flower? Oh And he missed it, but it goes back. I don't know if they're predetermined or if they're time-based, but Regardless, very unfortunate. Is he gonna P-Wing? He's not gonna P-Wing. Good luck. Oh, dude, every time I think somebody's gonna hit... If you hit your head there on the side of that wall, you will most likely die. You won't have enough speed to make it into the little cove there. Very scary, man. JT not, however, will not go for that mushroom house, so he is... Oh, Rupert! Oh, what if he dies here if he jumps in inside of it? Oh, he knew. Dude, Rupert knew that was a good play. So if you're ever in that situation, you want to jump over the boom boom and stomp on top of him. Uh, that way, if the star does run out, you still get the stomp hit. But what he did there was just fine. All right, JT not. Time to go. Does get high pattern as well. That's going to be unfortunate. Last time he died in this fortress... We want to see a no death. The wall rub. All right, here we go on JT's side. 
There we go, much better. Wants to avoid this landing. Uh, I don't know, I don't think he can make it. I think he needed a little bit more peace speed time. Yep. And that is going to be it. Not going to be able to get that two, 279. Rupert, wow, with the tail swipe strat to get. Oh my god, and JT almost takes the dip there. Oh, look at that little ledge that Rupert gets to stand on. That's nice. Never seen that one before. All right, here we go, 6-4. You know, Rupert just got, what's that, 6-5 out of the way. Needs that hammer brother in the top left there. Both runners got. Rupert is the only one who hasn't got special tile yet. All right, here we go, JT not. Got his stars touching, but he already had um, items touching in his inventory. Let's see if Rupert got good. No, he does get bad RNG. Very unfortunate on Rupert's side. Oh, and JT taking damage. He's gonna have to go through, yep, and grab that leaf. Whee, down the hill. All right, hammer time, boom. All right, let's see how well JT knows the uh, childhood strats. This is what we all had to do as kids. There's no despawn when you're a kid. Nice, double stomp. Gonna build a P speed. Get out of here, all right. Wow, Rupert, every time, man, that's so scary. And like, it seems like the P speed is gonna run out as well. Ooh, very nice on JT not side. Sliding under there, man. He's like, I'm sick and tired of going slow. It's time for me to go fast. JT actually has an extra music box. He should use it here if the Hammer Brother gets in his way. All right, yep, that's the correct Hammer Brother. And like I s what the heck? What's going on here? What the heck happened? All right, he's gonna have to take that death. That's a very unfortunate death right there. He's gonna screen scroll. Very nice move. And back in there. He's gonna go for small Mario. And very much like that. There you go. He's on his way. Oh, he does get the special tile. But he already has that. He has that extra music box. Doesn't use the extra music box. So he doesn't have to fight the extra hammer, brother. But it's all right. He's on his way. All right, Rupert, come on, man. I'm gonna use that hammer. There it is right there, brother. The... Yep, there it is. Not gonna use an item. Ooh, Rupert is not gonna be able to go for the clip. Dang it, guys, we need someone. Someone's gotta get that clip, guys. Someone's gotta get it, right? Someone's gotta get that clip. All right, Rupert finishing up in the elevator. JT not going through Ice Fortress. Gotta wait for those swamps. Had items in his inventory, didn't want to use it, so he's definitely gonna have to take the time loss there. I mean, he's got leafs, I think. Maybe tanuki suits, I'm not too sure. Maybe he doesn't have any items. Uh, but I'm pretty sure he might have actually a mushroom or something. Oh! Oh, man. <sighs> rocky, rocky start right there. But he does get the orb. Isn't it interesting how the orb falls through the uh, those single tile blocks? It goes to the bottom. Very weird uh, thing. I'm not sure why that happens. Not opting for the power-up. He's going full small Mario. Alright, last chance. Oh, and he takes the damage and dies right there. Gonna take the death. We're in world six. The only thing left for him to be able to get is the floor clip and fire clip. Well, Rupert still has an opportunity to get this fire clip here. Let's see if he gets it. He got it last time. Oh, first try didn't work. Oh, second try didn't work. Very nice try, though. Very nice angled clips. All right, JT, come on, bud. You gotta get your P-Wing. You gotta get the floor clip and get the heck out of here, right? Oh, he's not even gonna use the P-Wing. He's gonna go for wall jump. Gets the body rub, not get the right sub-pixel. Jumping a little too far on the right block. The block he's jumping off of there you go, that's the right position. You wanna jump about 75% of the way. All right, Rupert's turn. And he 
does get the wall jump. He was gonna have to take the time loss because he does have the extra P wing for it. Right? I mean, he got the extra P wing, so he might as well use it. He's gonna take more time losses here for not using his items. But he does get the wall jump, though. All right. <laughs> Rupert split. Yeah, he did a he did a split. Oh, and JT almost gets the clip. That's what we wanted, man. We wanted to see that clip. Yeah, yeah. Rupert just messaged in his Discord. He reset it. That's okay though. All right, you got five tries, Rupert. One, two. Oh wow, he gets the second try, and just like that, we're back at sixty-nine points. Six for JT, nine for Rupert. You love to see it. Time for a sip of soda pops. Ah, nice little sips. All right, we do have another race after this. Zikubi versus Nassault, and even after that, we got SMB3 crowd control. So stick around, guys, while we still have lots and lots of stuff to do on this beautiful Sunday. All right, Rupert makes it over the Devil's Anus. Very scary pit to fall into, man. That's not a place you want to go. Yeah, you go down there, you're gonna have to hit a bunch of music notes. It's uh, it's the worst. Go into some pool. There's like water under there too. It's swimming around. You gotta go through some pipes, and then back over. So you don't want to fall down there. But Rupert doesn't. Rupert doesn't. And now Rupert is making his way to Item Abuse Island. Alright, just like that, making good work of 7-3. Rupert, both runners, small Mario, very scary. Small Mario, anything can go. Just like that. Ooh, imagine Rupert accidentally entered that level. Boy, would that ever suck. All right, as long as JT doesn't take damage, man, he really needs to not take damage here. All right, nice, nice. At least now he has an attempt for the clip. No subpixel setup. So 7-1 will be pure randomness for the first attempt. Pure randomness. Alright, continuing on with Item Abuse Island while JT Knot has five tries for 7-1. Five tries for 7-1. Let's go, JT. You got this. First try. Not even scared. Easy, man. Easy. Dude's a pro, man. Doesn't even have to do manipulation. All right, Rupert gonna go for 7-7. Seven, seven. It's a little bit more of a time cut, but hey, he's in the lead and it's all about what's comfortable. He's got a very nice, comfortable lead. No point in risking it. 7-8 can be very scary. Oh, same thing happened, but he does make it through. Nice, JT not. He's in the, the, the devil's level. Nice, and he makes it over. Does not have to worry about that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Not gonna get the pipe to pipe, but that's okay. He's in there. Had a little bit of a buffering, so he has a little bit of the ways behind, so we'll be able to fast forward it at some point. And if I say so one more time, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> All right, 7-3 for JT and Rupert 7-9. He's got a chance for mid clip. He's got two opportunities. Meanwhile, JT is on the easier level. All right, Rupert. Oh, missed first attempt. Ah, oh, missed both of his chances. Oh, that is a you hate to see it moment. Kind of funny though, kind of funny. Anyone who didn't know better would be wondering why the heck. Oh, ring around the rosy and down inside. Rupert with the game changing plays right there. That is the best I've ever seen. Hilarious. 
Oh man, I loved it. That was awesome. All right, item abuse island for JT. He's gonna have to do the double P-wings and Rupert is out of there. All these music boxes and all these P-wings. I love it. P-wings, music boxes, and ring around the rosies. Nice, doing good job on item abuse island. Abuse those items. Nice. Nice, the video feed cleared up just so we can watch these P-Speed strats, and here he goes. Fly up to the top, run. Ooh, fanfare would have been a nightmare for him. That would have been rough. Flower, or at least a thousand pointies. Nice, JT Not is not gonna offer the hammer suit strategies because he does have the hammer suit from the mushroom mess and annihilate seven eight. Very nicely done. Very nicely done on JT's side. That was good. That was good. However, we don't want to see clips in seven nine, do we? We want to. He had an extra P wing. Maybe he's using it for the Rockies. Nice. Okay, he's not clipping. Very nice. Yes, I like to see it. And again, even though I say, even though I say things like, "Oh, we don't want to see clips," like I don't know any better. These are just my my recommendations on what I'm seeing. Every runner knows way better than I do, especially when it comes to nerves and comfort. Oh, I almost gets mid clip first try, last try. Ah, oh, dang it, dude. That would have been some clutchy points. Nice, both runners playing Ring Around the Rosie in this level. Dude, this level is very hard, man. There's lots of lots of left rights, lots of duck inputs. Alright, JT Not does have his cloud though. JT Not does have his cloud. Nice. Noise. Alright, is he gonna cloud music box? Music box? No, but he's gonna music box first. He's gonna save his cloud for the fortress in World 8. Nice, gonna go for the fire P speed. Very nicely done. Right in that pipe. Ooh, he's gonna go for old school fire strats. Not the most reliable. I would recommend definitely uh, doing the uh, more modern strategy for that, where you do the uh, dry bone stomp, do the turn back jump, and get back through. Very much safer, and you get to watch all the enemies while you're doing it so you can adjust accordingly but hey he made it through and he gets a fire flower on the airship so no loss there pretty good all right here we go auto scroller land how you guys doing how you guys do we have another race right after this one guys we have another race right after this one like literally right after how you guys doing Got a lot of auto scrollers here. Hopefully, Rupert gets Rangless. Yo, Sass! Welcome back for 30 months! Wow, 30 months is a lot. And uh, we also have Sakan back for 11 months. That is also a lot of freaking months. Almost a one year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys, for the support. All right. No runner using uh, lifeline for this race. And Rupert just toying with those bombs. All right, Rupert's very close. Rupert is very, very close. Oh, so close to Wrangless. He got the second, he got the pattern right before it. What's the PB difference between Rupert and JT Not? I'm not sure. Uh, check out speedruns.com and uh, give it a look. 
I'd actually be pretty curious to know as well. Yeah, relax with that tea, that's right. My tea! Alright, here we go, JT not. When Rupert beat World 6, he pressed his split, but he's just using a, a normal timer, so it actually stopped his timer, right? It's just forced to have it, right? Right, because normally in speedruns, any anytime you beat a world when you grab the wand, you always press spacebar. So yeah, he just slipped up. Oh wow, look at these times. 53-52, 53-36. JT Knot has the better PB by what, 20 seconds or so? Yeah, JT is streaming from beyond. All right, Rupert, the first one at the hands. You got all three hands last time. What's he gonna get this time? Rule date. Ah, uh, you got one hand so far. Two hands on Rupert's side. I mean, if you're gonna get two hands, man, you, you, you might as well wish that you got three hands, right? And then that's kind of how it works. So if a player gets no hands, dies in the airship, then gets all hands, does that player get both rewards? Well, what do you mean both rewards? They get the reward for getting all three hands, of course, because they didn't intentionally fight the hands. But you'd lose a point for dying, so you'd break even anyways. There's no points for no hands. Type exclamation tournament, guys. The, there's a list of rules, the list of points. You got the schedules and the brackets. Yeah, exclamation tournament, my dudes. Are we going for the no Rocky kill? Well, at the same time, JT Not is gonna go for that Rangless. Ah, oh, he does not get Rangless. Rupert does not want to take damage here. Oh, 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 he gets in there. All right, Rupert gets the no Rockies. Oh, missed the fireball. Wow. Yeah, if you get no hands, you get the time reward, but if you get all three hands, you get punished in time, but you get a point, right? It's a it's a balancing method. Remember, there's skill there's skillful there's lots and lots of skillful points in this tournament, but at the same time, there has to be balancing points. So that the world's best runners can't always just win just by win. there's no point. Might as well just have a normal warpless. Right? That's what makes the whole points tournament interesting, and that's what makes it eligible for anyone under 60 minutes with a PB to really participate and shine, you know? I mean, Rupert's got a fit. Rupert has the lower PB, and he's about to enter round three, man. He's so close right here. It looks like he does have this in the bag, right? You know, so it's it's to make it very, very enjoyable. Oh, last time he didn't get the sun, but he gets it this time. Dude, remember what happened last time? The sun was weaving and bobbing and dodging. The five Ds of dodgeball. Alright, here we go. Rupert does have to do this. JT Knot is now going to be crossing the hands. Let's see what he gets. He gets pulled in by the first hand. He does need to get some points here. I think he has enough time to finish. Ah, 
Oh, he gets pulled in by hand number two. Could get some points here. <laughs> oh, Rupert with the with the jump. So what happens if you hit the activation screen? Is that if you jump, the game needs Mario to be on the ground for the boom boom battle to start. So Rupert just showed that. Oh, all three hands. Boom, he gets that point. Ooh, 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 some slip ups. All right, he makes it through. With some Rick and Morty sound effects right there. That was a little bit of Morty. All right, he gets all three hands. He's gonna get the points and now he's gonna move on to the no Rocky kills and he doesn't want to take any damage either. The hands are completely random. Technically, they're not random, right? You get pulled in by even numbers and you get, you get to cross them by odd numbers, but you don't know what RNG strings you're on, right, at that time. Does take damage, that's okay though. As long as he gets no rock, you gotta secure one point here. Very nicely done. Makes it through. Yeah, the pseudo random. But yep, in a warpless run, it's it would be absolutely impossible. There's only one. Oh! He does get the kill. Nice, Rupert is just like, no, I'm not even going to. All right, Rupert's gonna head on to Bowser's castle. Rupert is going to finish off with a 56 something. Let me go ahead and give JT a refresh. If it catches up, then yeah, just like that, JT is in. Oh, and he takes the death after using the hammer suit. So he's not going to be able to get that sun kill. Very unfortunate. That was a spicy place to refresh. Rupert going nice and slow, making sure you get through. Rupert with the 20 lives as well. Oh man, it's getting risky for the Roops. He's in there though, he's in there. Rupert does not take damage and he gets the 20 lives. So right there, 13 points for Roops. Finishing in with roughly a 57 minute run. Very nice. JT not makes it through. Will he die from the sun though? Oh my gosh. He like got pulled in. He cannot fight Bowser. He has to fight. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know if JT Not will be able to finish this under 60. This would be exciting. This will be exciting. Yo, GG's to the Roops, guys. Very nice. And we have another race right after this one. I can't wait, man. I'm so excited for today. We have another race and we have crowd control right after. Oh, and takes damage from the leaf, but that's okay. Because Bowser is going to take the same length anyways. He's got two minutes. And Bowser takes like 30 to 40 seconds, man. 40 something seconds without Fire Flower. Crowd control is a way for you guys to use your Twitch bits to directly change how Mario 3 works for me. So if you use your Twitch bits, you can uh, give me power-ups, you can summon enemies, uh, you can change my stance, you can give me items in my inventory, you can send Cheap Cheeps, Lakitu's, the Angry Sun, you can reverse my controls, put water physics in the game. You guys can be really, really mean. Alright, I think JT has just enough time. <laughs> Send bats. That'd be awesome. All right, gets the clip. Nice. He needs he needs any little time save he can get here. Oh, 
Oh, missed the door. Not going to be able to that P speed. And just like that, I don't think he's going to get the sub 60, guys. Very unfortunate. Oh, that is going to reduce the scores big time. And then just like that. JT not. Yeah, that's why you want to stop. You want to stock up and save your bits for later this evening. It's going to be insane. Anyone who doesn't have bits, though, you do get a free 50 coins with crowd control. So you can you can still play around and interact uh, a little bit. You get some free. You get free coins. So that's good. Ooh, and it just misses it. Ah, oh, dang it! Right, how many seconds away? Twelve seconds away. Rupert with twenty five. <laughs> 